The Living Water Partnership is a really ambitious and exciting partnership between Fonterra and the Department of Conservation. The idea is that we'll spend $20 million in five catchments throughout New Zealand over the next 10 years, finding ways to improve water quality and biodiversity and allow for sustainable farming. At the moment we've got some exciting projects on the go, so we've got our nitrate catcher passive filter trial along with Dairy NZ and Niwa, looking at ways to strip nitrates out of tile drains, which is um, a lot of the drainage down here in Southland. We've got planting happening on an Environment Southland constructed wetland. We're looking particularly for opportunities to work with farmers to hang on to the remaining fragments of wetlands that remain. This is a a partnership that we're very proud of, the Department of Conservation and Fonterra, um, and Fonterra's farmers. So uh, increasingly we believe this is, this is actually a, a real priority for the department, but also a real way that we can make a difference. Today we're here to uh, start monitoring this wood chip filter. What we've done is we've brought this tile drain to the surface, it comes into this uh, wood chip bed. We're naturally occurring denitrifying bacteria, um, convert the nitrate that's coming in the tile drain into nitrogen gas. And so we're monitoring what's coming in with this instrumentation and what goes out with that instrumentation over there with the aim of finding out um, how much nitrogen's removed and uh, improving the water quality uh, that enters the lagoon. We saw the partnership with Living Water being very, very important for us because the Living Water program is all about sustainable dairying alongside healthy ecosystems, which is also our vision. And the Living Water program is also very much focused on the doing part, really making things happen and trialling things out. To me, Waituna is home. Simple as that. It's my ancestral home. My understanding is that very nearly all of the major water um, channels in the, in the Waituna catchment are now fenced. Effluent, um, there has been massive dollars spent by individual farmers upgrading um, effluent uh, systems, many of which have done that prior to needing to go for a new consent, have voluntarily done it. Um, there's riparian plantings, all of those things are um, contributing to the better water quality of, of the Waituna catchment.